Unstop every you. Unstop every you. Unstop every you. Alright, so without doing too much talking, make we dive in and just watch the video here. Right? From the beginning to end. And then we talk about it a little bit. See? Join me. Alright, so let me first tell you what I see right there, right? What I see right there says a group of people frustrated. Frustrated, feeling like they are being dictated to, and sick and tired of it. That is what I see in other video there. Now, that is in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, right? Now, this happened yesterday. As the, 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 the citizens took to the streets and decided to go block the road and bonfire and, you know, rebel against what is being forced on them, right? Now, them also bust all the Prime Minister ahead. You, have, may, have, you, you may have seen photos circulating the internet of the Prime Minister's um, bloody shirt and, you understand, him, him on a white shirt and him blood up, right? And he was rushed to the hospital, right? He's okay right now, but somebody bust him with a big stone. Right, one of the protesters boss him with a big stone because somebody that fling back and stone and set fire and all of these things. Right? Now, what causes things like this? I said it in a video just yesterday when I say, yo, if these governments continue the way they are going down this path that they are going down, treading down this road them treading on, it is going to lead to one thing, an uprising. And by an uprising, I mean the citizens of these countries are going to just realize, say, listen, me, we're not going to take no more of this. And we are going to rise up against who we put in power to protect we. We are going to rise up against them because we put in our power to protect we. But yet still it seems like we are not work against our best interests or the best interests of the country. We are not work for the country. We are not work against the country and against the people. That is how people are starting to feel right now. And we are talking about Caribbean islands, third world countries, all around the world. We are not talking about one specific place. Now you can imagine if an uprising starts in every Caribbean country because of what these heads of government are doing. Now what caused this riot in St. Vincent? Now from the information that I got, them say it's because um, parliament members had a meeting and made the decision that they were going to make it mandatory for frontline workers to take the job. Yeah, the, 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 the joke. Yeah, right? They had a meeting in Parliament, made the decision that they were going to make it mandatory for frontline workers to have to take it. Now, if you can recall some time ago, I said that... No matter what they must say right now, but it is a voluntary thing. If you choose to take it, then fine. It will not be made mandatory. It will not be forced on you. I said that earlier, some time ago, when I said they matter that no, but sometime to come, they are going to make it mandatory. One way or the other, right? I said that. 
and see they must start off slowly and this did not only happen in st vincent i know of another caribbean country right now where frontline workers have no choice but to accept it right i know of a caribbean country right now where some employees who are not even frontline workers right in this country they are told if they do not take this thing then you cannot come to work so what that mean you're taking away people's livelihood you're taking away people's way of life by telling them listen if you cannot if you do not do what we say you should do then you can't come over then how how will people how will one survive you understand so at the end of the day they are forcing something on you that you do not want to accept willingly but because you have no other choice because you have to work you're going to take it so this is what happened in st vincent right here the people them tired the people them now accept what is being shoved on them so they might rise up now let's shift the focus just a little bit this is the very same thing that is going to happen in jamaica and we can see it already where the people the jamaican people are starting to rebel we can see it already and if them they get in line and fix up them thing where they might do it's going to lead down this very same road like what happened in st vincent yesterday people talk to me down below in the comment section let me know what i think come on for your phone or opinion upon this scene remember this is just my opinion all right it's not law it's not the gospel but i just attack my mind Talk to me down below in the comment section. Remember, if you haven't hit the like button yet, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. All right? Share it out to a friend. It's appreciated. I'm unstoppable. We're gone. Whoa, unstoppable you. Unstoppable you. Unstoppable.